everyone, my name's Debbie. I'm Mum Bear Stitchery here on Floss Tube and over on Instagram, and this is a channel all about cross stitch. Today is episode 40, and this is all about my June stitching projects and my plans for July. So my kids are officially on summer break now, and it's been an eventful two weeks already. We've spent a lot of time sitting in doctors' offices, it felt like. Um, we thought Maya had broken her wrist again. Thankfully, it's just a sprain. And then Elena had a weird mole pop up on her head that we thought should be checked out, but thankfully it's fine. So my public service announcement is just wear your sunscreen. Like the doctor told us, we're pale Europeans um, who didn't grow up with this kind of sunshine that of California. So we'll probably have quite a few of them pop up over the next coming years. And it, apologies, the aircon's on today. It's her first week in the 90s and it is hot. It feels hot. Um, El Nino has meant that We've been relatively cool until this point, abnormally so, but every year it shocks me how hot it gets in summer. After living in Scotland your entire life, um, even after eight years, it still surprised me how hot California gets in the summer. But I'm just going to go straight into the stitching now and I only have one finish this month and that's where I'm going to start. So the first project that I'm going to show you is Four Seasons by Modern Folk Embroidery. And I actually finished this one this month, so you'll see a picture of where I was before. And I actually finished this one. There we go. This was such a fun and relaxing stitch. Um, this was good doctor surgery stitching because it was just one colour off thread. Um, it's actually stitched in a Gloriana silk called Holiday Blue. And I chose to stitch them all together. You could stitch these individually. Um, they'd be good smalls actually for a retreat as well. But I would like to finish this as one big like flat fold. Because I have some nice fabric that would match this. But this is stitched on Fort Count Salt Rock by Colour and Cotton. And it is one of my favourite neutrals that I wish I could get my hands on more. Um, one to three stitch just never seem to have it back in stock. But yeah, I absolutely love stitching this one. And like I said, this got me through quite a few doctor's appointments this month already. So here's to an uneventful rest of the summer. So that was my only finish. My next project is Berry Tree by Artisy. And this is the project that I try to finish a page a month so that I hopefully I will finish this mid 2024. Um, and I finished a page this month. Um, here is where I am. Oh, they're lovely. They look so, they just look so realistic. And this is page seven out of 18 that I finished. And I finished this bottom corner one. And this is the full height of the piece um, already. I still have two more pages wide to go, but this is the full height and it is 300 by 198 stitches wide. And like I said, this page 7 out of 18. And it's all DMC and it's 1 over 1 full cross on 25 count. Easy grid. And the page that I've picked out for July, because it's going to be a really busy month, um, I'm going to do this one here and fill in some of the bear's body. It seems to be like the least confetti heavy out of between this page, this page, or this page, because I try to pick one touch and something else. Um, this seems to be the less confetti heavy page. So since it's going to be a busy, busy month, um, that's the one that I'm going to do next. So that's that one. And this month I didn't leave that working on that project till the end of the month and feeling rushed to complete it. I, Kind of worked on it more at the beginning of the month and that definitely worked out better for me. So I think we're going to try that again this month. My third project is called Beachcomber by Lindsay Stitches. Now this was, sorry I'm referring to my notes, this was the Pacific Northwest um, retreat project from last year. It's a retreat hosted by Acorns and Threads. I didn't attend that retreat. Um, I'm going this year for the first time, but I didn't attend the one last year, but I contacted Acorns and Threads right after that retreat 
and I was able to buy this chart as well as the one from the Blue Flower which was their retreat project too. So if this is something you want before Linda Stitches releases it, um, contact Acorns and Threads because I'm not sure how that arrangement works or how long if she has to wait so long to release it. But I worked on this one a lot this month. This one was so much fun to work on. Um, I've actually completed that entire top section. Um, I've even beaded it. But all these little creatures were so fun to stitch. And I felt such an achievement once I got that whale in. Um, and this is in a dinky dye, the whale fill in colour. And uh, this box fill in colour is an over dyed, I think it's a classic colour works maybe. But I think they're the only two over dyed threads in this entire thing. And then there's the bottom, which I'm working on. And I hope to finish this one in July. I'm going to bring this one back out. And uh, this is on the call for fabric, which is a 32 count raw natural linen. But yeah, loved working on this one. And each of those little creatures like feels like a little finish in itself. So we'll definitely be finishing this one in July. That's that one. My next project I'm hoping will also be a finish in July. This is Trick or Treat by Doreen Jones and it's actually a free chart on her Facebook group. I think it came out a couple of years ago and it was released as a part a week leading up to Halloween. It was definitely, I think it was during the pandemic that it came out um, and that's when I started it and then I went deep into the whip pile for a while but I pulled it back out and I worked on this one quite a lot as well. See all the little monsters. So I did two little monsters and some of that bottom border. And I hope to finish this one this month. I only have one more creature to put on the end, a little pumpkin head, and then fill the border in. And I'd like to get this near, well, I do want to finish it in July. Um, and I'm going to be using it for, I'll describe it more after, for the Frogwarts Black Needle Society retreat. Um, you get extra points if you finish things during the retreat. So hopefully this will be one of them. And this is stitched on 32 count opal linen in the colour Anthea from Under the Sea Fabrics. And it's just DMC. But I love this fabric. It's like perfect Halloween-y fabric. And this is actually enough to stitch something else like on the bottom. But... Ah, love them. Doreen Jones charts are just so super cute. And she gets, she has a lot of freebies on her Facebook group page. Um, she started arranging them into years that they were released before. It was just a big dump of them. Um, she has so many freebies like on her page. So I will link that below. Uh, my last project that I worked on, I felt like I got through the, those quite quickly um, just by working on fewer projects, but giving them more attention. It feels like I've got through those really fast. This last project is a labour of love. It is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. And um, this month um, I complete an entire block. Oh, this mermaid one. This is like a miniature full coverage like in itself. The only thing not stitches the background of this little tiny top bit. But um, I'm stitching this all in the DMC and I'm glad I did not leave this block to last. Because yeah, this was like a lot of work. These are like, as you know, I think they're like 92, 92 stitches wide. So I did this entire block, including outline in it and stitching the whole thing. And this was my second last block of this entire thing. And this is a huge, this is a huge project. Uh, mine's is on four to count Highland Heather by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And like I said, I'm stitching it on DMC. So once I finished the mermaid block, I went ahead and outlined my final block, which is the one with the coffins and the vampire and the mummy and all that in it. And made a start on the writing, just to finish up one of the stitchy challenges in the group. I needed so many stitches on this. But this is my final block on Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow by Carriage House Samplings.
and I am so excited to finish this project hopefully in July. So I'll have to go back a bit to show you this whole thing. That is where I am. Final, final block. I can't believe I'm near the end. Oh, and I don't know. Uh, I have one other um, Hawk Run Hollow started. It's Map of Hawk Run. And my plan was always finish Halloween and then just get Map out and get that one done. But I think I need a little break from Hawk Run Hollow. Um, and I might pick out some older project from deep in the whip pile to like work on after Hawk Run and then come, maybe come back to Map instead of jumping right in to that again. Um, also, I've dropped out of the 23 and 23 challenge in Whip Warriors, so I'm going to start things. So that bring, that will bring me to plans in a minute. I'm going to start things and it means I can work on older whips. They're deep in these boxes here and try and clear some of those out, but I decided it's been fun. I've got a lot of older projects knocked out this year already because of that challenge and it's been fantastic, but I'm just at the point I want to enjoy summer, I want to have some starts, and I don't want to be restrained by a challenge, so it was fun. I can still do the Whip Warriors like events and the road trip challenge. Um, I just don't think I can win like any grand prizes or anything like that, but that's still fun for me. But I am going to be starting some things, which I'll show you coming up. The last cross-stitch project I'm going to show you isn't actually my whip, but um, my daughter Alina, she's 10. Um, she started stitching these summer holidays and this is her project that she picked. It's a red-eyed tree frog. It's by La Selva Designs. Um, I've stitched ornaments from the shop before as well for Christmas and gave them as gifts. So she had a look through and this is what she loved was the little tree frog. And they have perfect patterns for doing smalls for retreats, for beginners, for kids, because it's all, this one is all whole stitches and it's a big bright chart and it comes on a colour and a black and white version. Um, so she's been working on this. <laughs> she's like, it takes forever. But um, she wanted me to show you her whip. So this is her, the start of her little tree frog. So she's gonna work on um, his other little feet today. And this is all DMC. And I'm proud that she's actually, she can start and end her threads by herself. She can separate the DMC into two strands and thread her own needle. And so she stole my nerd hoop, which is now her nerd hoop. And she ordered, they just arrived, um, a needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. It's Jasmine Beckett Griffith, the dragon ninjalings. So she picked that out and now she needs more apparently. And she would like nerd hoops in different colors, but maybe next time you'll see a bit more progress on her frog. So that's all the cross stitch projects that I have to show you. Um, that takes me into plants. So as well as finishing Hawk Run Hollow, fingers crossed, um, the Beachcomber and the little trick or treater um, from Doreen Jones and the Bear Page, which seems a lot already, crazy. Given this month is gonna be so busy. I'm watching my friend's dog um, as of tomorrow. So I have to go to the house multiple times a day to like walk her and check on her because um, she's old and grouchy and I don't know how that's going to go. We did it last, well I did it last year, but this is for a lot longer. So hopefully that's going to go well, but it's going to take like a lot of time out of my day to go there. Um, and yeah, so there's that. It's busy. And then the kids are signed up for um, sports camps. We're going on vacation. I have the frog watch retreat, which I'll show you now. Um, that's a virtual retreat in a box um, from Black Needle Society. So you get a box of goodies. And then there's also the virtual retreat component that you can choose to be participate in or not participate in. But it's all like stitchy games and challenges and like pop-up events. Um, you get a list of prompt stitching events and you earn points for whatever team you get sorted into and to try and win prizes. Um, this is my third year doing it and it's 
the fourth year of Frogworks. I didn't know about it the first year. And one of the challenges is you get a band sampler each year. And if you start and finish it in the two weeks leading up to the online retreat, then you win multiple house points for your team. So that's one of the starts that I'm going to have. Um, it's my pile of floss that I need to arrange. And this is a fabric that I'm going to be using. It is Hanami um, by Under the Sea Fabrics. So I'm going to be using that. And we don't actually have the box yet because it's delayed. So I can't show you the what the band sample is. Actually, I'll insert the picture of the model from Black Middle Society in here. Um, so I'm hoping to start and finish that in the next two weeks to earn my team points. I managed it last year and it was pretty tough going. Um, so hopefully I can get that done despite my dog sitting duties that I'm going to have to manage and hopefully keep all my fingers. She's just old and grouchy and she doesn't like it and her leash on and yeah. So I aim to keep all 10 fingers. <laughs> um, so that's one of my starts. The thing that actually made me drop out of the 23 and 23 challenge was the Haid sale that just happened, Heaven and Earth Designs. They had a 50% sale the other day um, and I picked up this shirt. This is Quick Stitch Keep Up. It's by Hannah Disney and it's a, a fraction of a bigger chart. This is only six pages and the stitch count is 185 by 133 and I am going to be starting this one. I'm going to use 25 count easy guide and stitch it one over one full cross and I'm stitching this or going to be starting it for the full coverage fanatics challenge tour de france which starts on the 1st of july and I printed out the little sheet so you can see um every day has a stitch amount which is the distance the cyclists go or something like that and you can choose your jersey level so one of the jerseys you just stitch the red parts one of them you stitch the green parts or if you choose the yellow jersey you stitch all the parts and I'm going to go for the yellow jersey so hopefully I'll get some good progress on that new star of the turtle um, if I manage to do all the parts it will be 3404 stitches so it'll be a nice good start I've already put it on Pattern Keeper or managed to like load it into Pattern Keeper. So I'm going to do that. My other new start that I'm going to have. Clearly I fell off the wagon quite hard <laughs> of no new starts. My third, sorry, itchy eye now. Um, my other start that I'm going to have is for my small for the Pacific Northwest retreat this year. Um, I've never done a smalls exchange. I've never been to the Pacific Northwest Stitch Retreat, which I'm very excited for because Portland's only an hour, an hour flight from Northern California. So nice and quick, but I have to do a small and I need to stop procrastinating about what I'm going to stitch. Is it going to be good enough? How am I going to finish it? Um, I just need to get started in case everything goes wrong. I've got time to make something else because it's middle of September. So I'm gonna do, try and cover up the chart. I am gonna stitch this little boy and girl with the apples. And I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the little rug like underneath too. And I'm gonna use 32 count antique white linen by Zweigart. I thought this was cute. It's, yeah, it's just, it's kind of cute and vintagey. And I've wanted to stitch something out this book for forever. And this is the Fables and Fairy Tales to Cross Stitch by Veronique Ongenje. Um, You can get this on Amazon. I actually saw it in Joanne's this week too when I was picking up floss. They had it in their book section as well. So if you wanted to have a good flick through of it first without buying it from Amazon, um, check out Joanne's. But it is an absolutely fantastic book. There's so many things I want to stitch like from it. So I'm going to do that. That's going to be my small. So I need to get on that. And I'm thinking about just 
simple finishing it as like a little pin pillow but stitch first work about work out finishing later this other project um which is part also part of my haul um i'm gonna either start in july or i'm gonna take it on vacation in august and it'd be my vacation project and it is the stained glass sampler by carolyn manning i had such fomo about um the carolyn manning or the may manning stitch long whenever he was starting these designs that i just got one i just bought the hard copy too um i just did the whole add all to cart situation on one two three so i got all the dmc floss too and i stuck the sticker about what fabric this is into my book this is actually a 16 count midnight gray ada Oop. see all these pretty colors it's like teals and purples and it's like a perfect dark gray fabric that the black is going to show up on and make all those other colors pop so if i don't get this one started in july so i have so much other things to work on um it will be a August take on vacation to Hawaii project. The Ada should be nice and easy to work on. The last little bit of haul that I have that I hopefully don't start also is um, Seaside Tiny Tongue by Heart in Hand. I think everybody and their dog is stitching this one. Um, I even got a little surfboard from um, Target to hopefully mount this on when I finish it. I do love the drum though, but that is way beyond my finishing skills, I think. Definitely beyond my finishing skills right now. Um, but this one's so cute. I love like little crab, but I think the pelican's my favorite. And I bought the fabric that goes with this, the 32 count raw natural. Yeah, 32 count raw natural for that one. Uh, I picked up this little Mill Hill, the gingerbread house. Helena would love this one for her little Christmas tree this year. I've already stitched Maya's. I saw this. It was so cute. It's a thread holder, by, and it's an, actually by RTO. And they have a whole bunch of these little stretchy cats. But I like this one, the ginger one. I don't usually use floss holders, <laughs> but I just thought this was too cute to not get. And it's wooden too. Um, yeah, pretty sturdy. So I probably will collect the other cats as well. And it's by RTO, RTO it's called Buratini. Can you see there? Buratini. Oh, this fabric, fabric. Um, I actually, speaking of cross stitch retreats, um, because I'm going to the Portland one uh, from Acres on Threads, I wanted, like, I heard that you give people at your table like a little gift that you're sitting with. Um, so I went on to Dying for Cross Stitch to order some like silks. They have 10 yard silks there just to give out as my little table gift. Um, so I picked up a bunch from Dying, Dying for Cross Stitch. I will link below. In case you want to check them out um so i picked, picked up a whole bunch of silks so this one is called stuart i'm sure i have this in a cotton it's very pretty um havenwood nice blue gray does it help if i have something white to hold this up against this one Havenwood, uh, out of the blue, and these are 10 yard silks, but well, I picked up two of these, Snapdragon, and this one's my favourite, that I'm going to have to get some more of this for myself, this one's called Sea Serpent, and it's like blues and purples and I don't know what's in there yeah like blues and purples and browns this one's my absolute favorite and i need to go order some more anyway because um 
I ordered these in silk, but she uh, was out of them. So she refunded me my money, but then also gave me them in cotton for free. So I'm going to order some more. But these are cinders. Oh, they're beautiful. So definitely check out Diane for Cross Stitch if you're looking for some silks and cottons and they have fabric. But so I picked up those. And while I was there, I also got myself this cotton little chubby mini hank called Mariana. And then I just so happened to stumble across their fabric of the month, which isn't like other fabric of the months where you have to sign up and you pay every month. Um, she posts a picture of her fabric of the month and you can just buy that color off the month at a discounted price. Um, and it's not, you have to buy every single month, but just check out on the first of the month what the new color is. Um, so this one doesn't have a name, it's just May fabric of the month. So I picked up it this one in 40 count because I love a good turquoise blue aqua. I can't say no. So yeah, I got this as a 40 count linen. And it's a beautiful color. I actually was thinking about these two together, but I think some of these um, lighter parts might get lost on this, but they are beautiful. So that's Dying for Cross Stitch and I'll link them below. I also ordered from Mystic Fabrics. Um, oh, and I got the cute, this cute little duck. I actually came screaming over from the mailbox shouting, I have a duck. So I got this little duck um, in the mailbox. And I was so excited. I saw other people who had ordered got a little duck too, but I came shouting over from the mailbox like, I think I have a duck. Um, and with my duck, that wasn't the only part. Um, I, this, uh, from Mystic Fabrics, they do pride fabrics every June and I got a piece similar to one that I got last year it's actually the same color it's called love who you love this is a pride 2023 fabric look at that and I actually have a whip on my piece from last year it's an autumn lane stitchery that's all nearly all black um, and since I'd cut into that piece from last year I just need another piece to store in my stash but Oh my goodness, there is nothing else like this. It's beautiful. So that is to live in the stash. Last couple of things, um, Be Stitch Me. I did their Friday night fight night and picked up a blue. It's called Dive In and it's a Port Camp Verdell, my favorite fabric in the entire world. And if you participate in the Friday Night Fight Night and actually manage to get one of the fabrics or order on the website that month, um, yeah, that month or that week, uh, you can participate in the giveaways on the Sunday. And I won one this month. And it's the April 2023 Silk of the Month pack. Oh, those colors are beautiful all together. So I got one the Silk pack. And I think these are all, yep, yeah, these are all 10 yards too. But oh, beautiful colors all together. So we have April Showers, uh, Mission, nice navy, Sunfire, that's bright. But they all go so well together. Solar and Forget Me Not. And last from Be Stitch Me was my fabric of the month, which if you haven't got, look away now. Um, this one is a 32 count Lugana and it's called Summer Sunrise. Um, my fabric of the month alternates between a 40 count Verdal neutral and a 32 count Lugana color. <laughs> so I got a color this month and that is exactly what it looks like. It is kind of like a neon coral. <laughs> And something perfect will pop up for this. Like even something completely black would pop on this so much. Yeah, so bright. And again, something will be, a design will be perfect for this. Um, this wouldn't be a color I think I would normally buy, but 
yeah, it's good to have in the stash and have options for something that might come up. The very last thing that I got this month, um, somebody on Instagram tagged me, thank you, even though you made me buy things, um, was from this shop Stitches So Beautiful on Etsy. They're a full coverage um, Etsy store. And the person tagged me and they were like, have you seen their new animal designs? I'm like, no. And went immediately over there to go look and see what they had added to their store. Because I have bought one before. It's a little Wednesday um, girl with a little cat and the, the window, the stained glass window behind her. So I went over and the new animal designs were absolutely beautiful. And I instantly put one in my car and kept coming back to it. And I was like, do I really need this? Um, so you'll see here what it is. Because my copy didn't print out too bright or as beautiful as it actually is. And it's called Polar Bear by Dutch Lady Mystic Art. And it's so pretty. It's 290 by 400 stitches and it may be a startup later this year. I have fabric. So it won't be this month, but probably definitely this year. So check out that shop if you love full cover for cost stitch. But I will link that below too. So but that's all I have this month. Um, hopefully you are having a great summer. Hopefully you will come back and see what I've stitched at the end of July um, and all my sorts. But until then, I hope you have a great month. Bye.